Reiner, you said the goo machine would work, but I got made fun of! That's because there is no goo, Mr. Cruz! You see, I learned something today. Throughout this whole ordeal, we've all wanted to show things that we weren't allowed to show. But it wasn't because of some magic goo. It was because of the magical power of threatening people with violence. That's obviously the only true power. If there's anything we've all learned, it's that terrorizing people works. That's right. Don't you see, Gingers? If you don't want to be made fun of anymore, all you need are guns and bombs to get people to stop. That's right, friends. All you need to do is instill fear and be willing to hurt people, and you can get whatever you want. The only true power is violence. Yeah. Alright, so in these episodes, um, we have what it's talked about what we call defamation. And this is basically, you know, saying something that you know is false to, you know, um, harm someone's reputation. This is li creating lies about someone that harms their reputation. This harm needs to be financial harm that causes them, you know, harm. And this needs to be intentional. And so you have two types, which is slander, which is what we saw in the South Park episodes where the boys are, or the boys are accused of slander by Tom Cruise because they, they are calling him a fudge packer. Okay, that's spoken, spoken defamation where you knowingly spread lies about someone uh, through verbal or, or through you know verbal words, spoken word that causes them financial harm. The next type is what's called uh, libel. This is the same thing. It's defamatory content, but it is spread in a text. So in an episode, it's on TV. Um, it's published in any sort of medium. So it could be you know a newspaper article. It could be a quote. It could be a YouTube video. It could be anything needs to be in a fixed form. So slander is spoken word, it's ephemeral, and libel is fixed. It's a fixed form of defamation. The main case here that you want to know, just write it in your notebook, is uh, New York Times versus Sullivan. This is 1964. And what this said, uh, you know, and had in it was in the byproduct of this, is that uh, the standard for determining whether um, communication is defamatory in slander and libel cases. And it's me, it has to get back to this actual malice standard, which basically means that if your communication was intentionally false in order to hurt someone's reputation, then it's slander or libel, it's defamatory. If you intentionally lie or intentionally spread lies about someone, that's actual malice. And if you reach the standard of actual malice, your communication will be considered uh, defamation. However, if you spread rumors about someone that you've heard, that you think are true, or based upon truth, um, and these do actually call them, cause them financial harm, or you know, you repost something, or you know, etc. That's not actual malice. As long as you did not intend, and and you know, again, a plaintiff, <clears throat> someone who's been feel like they've been defamed, must actually prove that you had actual malice, that you knowingly lied in order to harm them. Typically, again, fin financially. This will often slander and libel often involves um, freedom of of press and First Amendment rights. So South Park, you know, I mean, look at how they portray celebrities, all the instances of it. You know, it's, it's, there's clearly <laughs> you know, no actual malice. I mean, you know, again, part of it being like the fact that it's a stupid, stupid cart cartoon, you know, um, and it's part of their, their free speech rights. And, you know, no one would take that serious. None of this, what you see in South Park is defamatory or libelous, okay? And the important part, though, is that it doesn't matter if you're a celebrity. If you're a celebrity or a public, a public figure or public official, like you're a government official, etc., you're basically, you've opened yourself up to being ripped on. 
that's that's it. You by being famous, by being a celebrity, you have opened yourself up to being ripped on. Totally ripped on. It's one of the drawbacks to being famous, okay? So when we think of defamation law, you can think of public figures and public officials. Again, like I said, it's much easier to get charged with defamation and you know lose in civil court uh, over defamation charges if you spread sl- you know libelous material about someone you know in your town or a business in your town that's maybe a competing business with your uncle's business or something something like like that that's going to be easy, easier for a plaintiff uh, to prove you're going to have a hard a hard time in that instance, right? But you know, celebrities, public officials, local government officials, etc., they kind of give up a lot of those protections. Okay, so basically, anybody who's famous, anybody who's a, a celebrity, anybody who's an athlete, someone who's like um, known for being wealthy or in business, and a, 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 a politician, they're considered public figures. Okay, so they're public figures, so they they have less rights when it comes to defamation. Um, They have to prove that, you know, that the publication, so if a news organization runs an article on on me, (laughs) right, I have, and I think, oh my gosh, I've just been libeled like a motherfucker, right? Um, You know, I have to prove that they knowingly published information that was false or that the reporting was reckless, that they didn't investigate, they didn't go to multiple sources, they just went to one source to talk about me and that source of information is someone who doesn't like me and wants these you know, fal- falsities to be uh, published, okay? Um, you know, public officials and public figures um, basically have to really, really, really prove this. So they have to prove that, you know, um, there was actual malice and that the defendant, so whoever, you know, published the material did it knowingly, that it was knowingly false. Uh, another type of, of public uh, figures, what's called the vortex public figure or the limited purpose public figure. This is someone who may not be famous or a household name, right, but they've put themselves... Um, in the limelight to push an issue. So like Greta, you know, uh, pushing climate change, um, you know, is a limited purpose public figure or vortex public figure. Again, they have less rights. Um, they, can be, they can be made fun of. They can be ripped on. Um, public officials are government employees. Again, they have less protection here. You can rip on public officials. So you could rip on the president of the university of Oregon, um, you know, you could rip on the mayor of Eugene, you know, etc. The people who you shouldn't rip on um, are what are called involuntary public figures. This could be like a victim of a crime, say, whose name was printed or something like that. They've become a celebrity for the wrong reasons. They have more protection, okay? So how does celebrity, you know, South Park get get away with parody? You know, I mean, no one's been able, you know, the only way South Park's been censored is by the network itself um, and by celebrities being babies about it. For instance, Tom Cruise, okay? Um, I think it's very clear when you watch South Park how they portray the celebrities is, is unflattering. And therefore, you know that like there's no way that that celebrity was endorsing it. No way Bono said, yeah, I am the biggest piece of shit in the world. Run with that. Okay, so you know since it's so grotesque that it's clearly a parody, and that's one way that South Park gets away with it. When they borrow, they borrow enough just to signify the original. Um, It's obviously animated, but the way that they portray the celebrities it's clearly mocking them. It's clearly, you know it's Paris Hilton, you know it's Kanye West, they say it's Kanye West, they say it's Snooki, whatever. But um, it's, just, it's just enough that they use to, 
make, make up for it. And then they have their disclaimer, you know, the disclaimer, all characters and events in this show, even those based on real people are entirely fictional. All celebrity voices are impersonated, dot, 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 dot poorly. <laughs> The following program contains coarse language, and due to its content, it should not be viewed by anyone. Except for we got a fucking class on this show. 